The purpose of this screencast is to demonstrate a fourth year software engineering project from the University of Auckland. The project is titled A More Manageable Multi-Window Interface and was developed by Ahmed Al Hassani and Mohanad Hamade. Using multiple windows in a desktop environment is very common these days. Whether it is for work or study, computer users have to often interact with several windows at the same time. Current operating systems provide methods to arrange windows on the screen and switch between them quickly. However, these methods are not very effective and are sometimes more complicated than they need to be. Here is an example of a situation that requires the use of multiple windows. Let's say I'm emailing my project manager some figures from a business case model that I have compiled. Typically, I would switch between the two windows using the taskbar, look at the information I need, then switch back again. This method is not very efficient, however, as it means that I'll have to take my focus away from the email towards the taskbar, to the cells that are of interest to my boss, back to the taskbar, and then back to the email I'm composing. Another way would be to just click on the visible area of the window I need to give it focus, and then do the same to get back to my email. However, this only works when I can see the other window and is not always possible. A more effective way to carry out the task would be to have the two windows side by side so that they can both be visible and so that I don't have to waste time switching between them. Now that I have my two windows side by side, I don't have to worry about switching between them and I can just carry on with typing my email. The main idea behind our project was to make it easier for computer users to interact with multiple windows. I'll try to recreate the previous task using Haiku, the operating system we implemented our solution in. As you can see, I have two windows on the screen. The front window is my email client and the back window is a pretend spreadsheet. You'll notice that when I drag the untitled one window towards the right hand edge of the screen, the window resizes so that the scroll bars are always visible. This is one of the features we implemented. Also, when I release the untitled one window next to the email window, it will automatically resize and attach itself to the email window. At this point, both windows can be moved and resized as if they were one window. Now that I have both windows positioned where I want, I can go ahead and type my email. Another feature we implemented is the stacking feature. This allows the user to have multiple windows in the space of a single window. The color change indicates that a window is ready to stack. Once it is released, it will resize and attach itself under a window it has dropped on. Now both windows can be switched between them by just clicking on the tab and they can all be moved together by moving one of the windows in the group. As you notice, when we resize one of the windows, all the windows in the group get resized and the middle here acts as a separator. Windows can be removed from a stack or a tiled group by pressing a combination of keys. The user is free to have any combination of tiled and stacked windows, and they will all behave as if they were one window, and the window manager will always try to keep them visible to the user at all times.